Today we're gonna talk about credit cards. I got some, got some heavy ones in here. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna talk about credit cards. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Megan Haynes and I am a nurse that recently left the bedside to pursue her e-commerce business full time. Today I'm gonna talk to you about credit cards and the three credit cards that I have come to love and use for running my business. It was a really great way for me to get going in business. I didn't have to get a loan or put a huge chunk of my own money down. So I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about how I made that work with using business credit cards and how I use the rewards and that kind of stuff. Credit cards are great. If you are somebody who's interested in starting your own business or you are just somebody who already knows and loves credit cards, then this is the perfect video for you. Over the past year, I've taken over 20 flights and I haven't paid for a single one of them. I've also earned over $15,000 in tax-free income from you know cash back on my credit cards. So it's really great to use and help leverage for both your personal life and your business life. So today I'm gonna talk about three credit cards that I use to run my business, why I use them, how I rack up rewards really quickly, and yeah, hopefully you learn about them and can kind of take this information, do your own research and find the credit cards that are gonna work best for you, but let's dive into it. So when I was beginning my journey of starting my own business, one thing that I think comes across a lot of entrepreneurs' minds or people that wanna start their own businesses is they don't know how much it's going to cost them. They don't know the upfront cost. Do I need to put $5,000 away? Do I need to put $10,000 away to throw into this business? And honestly, it, you don't need that much. When it comes to especially e-commerce, when so much can be paid online with a credit card, you don't need to go and get a bank loan. You don't need to save up a bunch of money of your own on the side. If you're somebody who wants to do that, then that's great, but you really only have to get a business credit card in order to get your business up and running. Luckily for e-commerce, all of our applications you can put on a credit card, all your advertising expenses you can put on a credit card, pretty much everything. Everything that I do for my business is through a credit card or through like paying with PayPal, something along along those lines. So it's a really great tool for business owners to leverage. It's really important to do research and find the credit cards that are gonna work best for your type of business. And I'll get into that in a little bit. The first credit card that I'm gonna talk about is the American Express Platinum Card. And I know a lot of people talk about this on YouTube and other social media sites. You gotta have the platinum, you gotta have the platinum. Platinum's great. When I started my own business, I knew for a fact I wanted to travel. That was really the main reason why I left nursing full time was because I knew that I wanted to travel the world. I wanted to be able to take a vacation when I wanted to. I wouldn't have to try to negotiate and pick up other shifts or try to ask for vacation time off. That to me was a big reason for taking the step and pursuing my business full time. So for me, the platinum card really caught my eye right off the bat. I knew that I would use all the benefits that come from it. So if you haven't looked into the American Express Platinum card, it's a lofty annual fee. It's $695 a year. But if you're actually using all of the benefits that come with that card, you are at least breaking even with the amount that that credit card gives you. So to explain that a little bit more, that just means American Express is gonna give you $100 in credit for Uber. They're gonna give you $100 to spend at a hotel if you book through American Express Travel with your American Express card. So that can go to drinks, it can go to eating at the restaurant, pretty much anything that the resort could possibly charge you for, like you can use that $100 to then help pay for that. They're gonna pay for your TSA pre-check, they're gonna pay for your global entry, they can pay for clear if you're somebody who uses clear instead of TSA pre-check. They give you a membership to Priority Pass, which is 
a membership that gives you access to thousands of airport lounges worldwide. And it's also gonna give you access to the American Express lounges that are in airports, which are also great. And those lounges come with free food and beverages, even, even adult beverages, which, you know, we all love before taking a flight. So right off the bat, that one really caught my attention just because of all of the benefits that you get from that credit card. And honestly, if you're using those benefits, that's covering your annual fee. But when you actually use the credit card for travel, that's where it all just, it's beautiful, it just makes sense. You get 5X points back on flights and on hotels when you book through American Express Travel with that credit card. You are also going to be able to choose an airline, one that you typically fly often, to receive 35% of your points back. So if you use points to pay for a flight, let's say you wanna fly first class, it's 100,000 points for that ticket. If it is on the airline that you chose, so let's say it's American Airlines, they're gonna give you 35% of those points back. So you're saving points, therefore saving money on those flights. And so for me, I knew I was going to be flying a lot. So getting that extra 35% back just made sense for me. And right off the bat, I knew that that is the credit card that I, I definitely wanted. Points have been amazing. They've allowed me to travel to a bunch of different places, just to name a few from this year. I went to Paris, I went to London, I went to Mexico, I went to Austin, Texas, Denver, Colorado, Fort Lauderdale, Florida. That's just to name a few of the flights that I've been on, but I have not paid for a single one of them this year. I'm sure a lot of people are skeptical about that. Again, do your research and pick the credit card that works best for you. The second credit card that I'm gonna talk about is the American Express Gold Card. And the reason I have another American Express credit card thrown in there is because the gold card is truly what earns all the points for me. I'm not traveling a ton for my business. I travel because I want to travel. I'm not traveling for business related things. So I like to use the gold card because the gold card is building all of those points for my business. The gold card is great. One of the benefits that it has is you can earn 4X points on up to $150,000 of spend on your two highest categories for your business, but they need to fall within some of American Express's categories. So American Express already comes up with the categories. And if you have two areas of your business that work, then you're gonna earn four X points on those categories. So it works great for me because one of their categories is actually online advertising. So all of my advertising expense goes onto that American Express gold card. And if you're actually using it to that capped $150,000, you're getting over 600,000 points that then can be put into paying for hotels or paying for flights. You can use it for American Express gift cards. You can use it for other gift cards that are offered within American Express's like benefit page. Really, you can do a lot with that gold card, but the gold card allows me to accumulate points so much quicker than it would for the platinum card. So I like to hold the platinum card because I love all the travel benefits that come with it. But when it comes to actually running my business, the gold card's doing all the heavy lifting, all the work. The gold card also has something similar with the platinum card. So the platinum card, you're able to get 35% of your points back when you book with flights on that specific airline of your choice, and the gold card's gonna be 25% back. So a little bit less than the platinum, but still a pretty nice benefit. And so I really love those two credit cards just because of the benefits that you get from it. You get the great benefits from the platinum card, but the gold card is just racking up points really quickly. And a little secret that not a lot of people know about is they think when they hit that $150,000 cap, that, oh well, like that's it, I've, I've hit it and now I'm only gonna earn 1X points. No, keep opening up gold credit cards, they're great. You can keep applying and getting new ones for your business and continue to rack up those 4X points. The only thing that you do need to know is that you pay those annual fees for each card. And for the gold card, that annual fee is $295 a year. So you could have two gold cards 
for the price of one platinum, but it comes down to like what you're looking for for your business. But it's been great. The last credit card that I'm gonna talk about is probably my all time favorite that I've used for running my business. And that's the Capital One Spark business card. It's amazing. You get 2% cash back on all of your business transactions. So it's a really easy way to be adding extra profit and this one's even better because it's tax-free profit to your business. I typically put all of my advertising expenses on that American Express Gold Card, and that is enough to pay and accommodate all of my flights and pretty much most of my travel needs. When it comes to the rest of my expenses for my business, I put it on the Spark Card. And the reason for that is that I'm then earning 2% cash back on all of my other business transactions. And this is great because it could be for paying for Google, it could be paying for my Shopify apps, my Shopify plan, you name it, it's all gonna go on that Spark card because everything that I am putting onto that card is then earning me 2% cash back. My largest expense for my business is hands down my cost of goods. So paying for my products that I'm shipping to my customers and paying for the shipping as well. So I throw all of that on my credit card. I get it pulled every 24 hours, my card gets charged and I'm earning 2% back on that. So even if your cost of goods are high, you can still be earning, like bringing that down by 2% because you're getting that and then tax-free income. So if you're really smart and strategic, you can be earning 2,000 to over $5,000 a month, depending on how your business is doing and where it is in like the scaling process. So it's a really easy way to have some extra money in your pocket that the government absolutely cannot touch. I don't know about you, but I love when I have tax-free income, like that's just amazing. And this year alone, I've been able to make over $15,000 in tax-free income. Not many people can say that, but that's kind of the beauty and one of the many benefits that come with running your own business. You know, not many people are spending thousands or millions of dollars every year for all the expenses that they have on their business. But business owners do that all the time, especially e-commerce. When it comes to our advertising and our cost of goods, it's just a no-brainer, super simple. You could be easily putting more money in your pocket at the end of the day that you don't claim. Like the government can't touch a cent of it. So rack it up, make that money. It's just like a nice little safety belt. Like instead of it just pulling from your bank account, you're earning rewards for it. So absolutely go do it, get some business credit cards, but of course do your research, depending on what kind of business you're trying to start or what kind of benefits that you're truly looking for. I would start with a simple Google search or even go on YouTube and watch some videos of the credit card gurus that are out there. I mean, there are some people that are 10 times smarter with how they use their credit cards and their points by, you know, switching trading points with another platform and moving from the American Express points, transferring that over to an airline where they paid even less for the flight. Like there are so many tips and tricks out there when it comes to credit cards that truly you just need to do, you need to do some research. And the beauty of credit cards is that they're very upfront. They wanna show you every single benefit that you can get because they want you using their card. So you go onto American Express and boom, they're gonna have all of those benefits right there in your face, no question about it. Same with Capital One, same with MasterCard, like you name it, they want you using their card. So do some research, find what's gonna get you the most points in a short amount of time for your business. But if you're trying to start an e-commerce business like me, I highly, highly, highly suggest the American Express Gold Card and the Capital One Spark Card. Just from my experience alone, I've been able to rack up hundreds of thousands of points to use for flights, as well as tax-free money. So 
I know this isn't any financial advice to you, but that is truly what has worked for me. At the end of the day, you could easily get away with running your business with two of these three credit cards. If I was starting over and doing everything again, I would definitely start with the American Express Gold Card and the Capital One Spark Business Card, just because they get me the most bang for my buck. As far as the Platinum Card, I absolutely love all of the benefits that that come with it, but in my line of business, you absolutely do not need those benefits to be running an e-commerce business. So at the end of the day, do your research, find what's gonna work best for you, your business that you are running and just kind of go from there. If you have any questions for me, drop them in the comments below. And if you wouldn't mind hitting like and subscribing to my channel, that way I can continue making videos like this for viewers like you, but thanks for watching.